This is the port of Zeebrugge, located right in the center of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. It's the world's most important harbor for car transport, a hub for the gas supply for Western Europe and a connector for the largest windmill farms in the North Sea. Keeping this harbor safe is thus of prime importance. That's why it's also the home of the Belgian Navy. And that's also one of the reasons why the Belgian Navy is investing in new autonomous demining tools. We are busy with renewing the whole fleet. The political world has already taken the decision. Six mine hunters will be replaced by six mother ships with a lot of drones, designed for a new era in mine hunting. This is the technological solution we are working towards, foreseen for operational deployment in 2024. It consists of a wide array of autonomous tools. But how are we going to ensure the trust between the human users and these autonomous tools and how do we de-risk these operations? We know from research that there are four main aspects that need to be considered for building a trust relationship. Reliable performance of the autonomous system, the understanding by human operators of the working principles of the autonomous system, the degree to which the use of the autonomous agent corresponds to the purpose of the system as expressed by the designer intent. Next to these human factors aspects, there is also an important socio-ethical dimension. Now, if you look into how multi-agent fleets of unmanned autonomous systems are typically being deployed, you'll notice that there is often a lot of attention for this first aspect, but that the other dimensions are often neglected. What we want to do with the Belgian mine countermeasures fleet is to take into consideration all four aspects. So, how we do this? Let's start with the first aspect, performance. In terms of performance, modern multi-agent autonomous fleets largely rely on artificial intelligence. Now, for training artificial intelligence, you need an enormous amount of data, which would be impossible or very costly to obtain. That's why we use digital twins. These are more than 3D models, they are complete digital replicas of physical assets. As you see, we also have those already for the autonomous systems that are still under construction. They allow us to quickly perform a lot of tests in virtual reality and thereby increase the system performance. What we propose to do now is to not only exploit this digital twin concept for the performance aspect, but also to enhance the other three dimensions of the human-agent trust relationship. This has as an advantage that the human agent trust can be established before operational deployment and in an offline way on a virtual system and that it can be readily transferred to a real system deployment in a very short time. So, how we do this? Well, we approach the issue of understanding the processes of the autonomous system from an ethical point of view. Indeed, an autonomous system has to take decisions with ethical implications. Therefore, we program ethical values into the machine. An ethical evaluation system will then propose simulation requests with scenarios on moral dilemmas to the digital twin that will provide as a response and with the help of a multi-physics dynamical model a series of ethical indicators. Based on these ethical indicators, a decision will be then be taken by the autonomous system. The more the operator agrees with the choices made by the machine, the more trust there will exist between the two. As a third aspect of the human agent trust relationship, we need to increase the degree to which the use of the autonomous agent corresponds to the purpose of the system as expressed by the designer's intent. Therefore, we develop a simulation environment where the digital twin fleet can be extensively proved under a wide scale of open-ended scenarios. Obviously, such system validation methodologies already exist, but here we do not focus on the technical system validation, but on the detection of outlier behaviors. It are particularly these outlier behaviors that can have a dramatic negative impact on the human-agent trust relationship. The fourth and final dimension in the human-agent trust relationship revolves around the socio-ethical dimension. Autonomous vehicles infuse a new modernity into the maritime operational tissue, profoundly changing the bonds and borders of 
trust and distrust between the human actor and technology as Navy personnel run the risk of being marginalized in the operational dimension. In order to address this issue, we use the digital twin concept to evaluate societal changes. This enables us to predict the societal output state, which results from the incorporation of the autonomous tools into the maritime mine countermeasures operational tool chain. A societal acceptance model will then compare the societal input and output state such that societal sensibilities can be detected in time. So, to conclude, this is how we at the Royal Military Academy and Belgian Defence are addressing the issue of trust in autonomous systems by using a holistic digital twin concept. This concept ensures safe operations with autonomous systems for the next generation maritime mine countermeasures fleet. Thank you.